Hey guys, this is Jared from Adventures Archery Lakeland and Archery Shepherds working on Brianna's bow from Bow Disciples. Woo -woo! Woo -woo! Woo -woo! And today we're going to be giving her a little bit of extra draw weight with a set of new limbs and a fresh update on her string. So gas bow strings build some of the better strings on the market, just in my opinion. And on these bow techs, we also have to replace this little flex torque uh, roller system. Here. <laughs> Look what I can do. Uh, what's that? Move his eyebrows. <laughs> you should try it. This is a bow that's actually been hunted with, showing a little signs of the wear and tear. So while we're at it, we're just gonna kind of clean it up and go through. It's a good idea if your bow tech is taking apart your bow anyway. Clean it up. Now's the time. Got a little leaf litter in here. I think a grasshopper ankle. Let me see. <laughs> San Jose. No, the dunes of Pismo. <laughs> so these are limb rockers. Most bow companies, they're going to ship with these. Normally they come with like a white lithium grease, something just to help hold that rocker inside uh, this rocker pocket. Um, but generally when I tear apart a bow, I'll try and get all that old grease off and I'll just relube it with some white lithium. So it's important to note when you're replacing limbs, from a lot of these companies, you're gonna have different, they call them deflection rates. Usually they're either stamped or printed on your limb somewhere. Bowtech's gonna stamp them right into the tip of the limb. So each limb, I guess, spring back at a little bit different rate, and the companies measure that. So when you're putting your new limbs on, you just wanna make sure you kinda, of, for a good starting place, you're gonna put them in the same order that they came off. So if we have one that's a little bit stiffer than the other, we're going to match that up with the next set. The blues are pretty darn close. Looks good. Why don't you tighten that up, Brianna? Okay. So you restrung your entire bow as well? <laughs> Did the whole thing on my own. YouTubed it. This is always my favorite part when the main goes on. This is one of the most satisfying parts to me. Right the stool. Not tall enough. Oh I need to change out that Hamsky timing cord color too. Yeah. Got some personality. Yeah. I need the. Yeah, I got hands too low. That's perfect. Your hands are. Maybe bump it up just a hair. No micro adjust. Peasant. <laughs> I remember my first hamski. Matches your nails lip gloss. <laughs> Shit a little low now. I'm not low. <laughs> You're just a touch <laughs> knock low. What you think? I see, yeah, that looks good. He knows what he's doing. What's the third and the second and the fourth and the fifth? Hmm. Nobody knows how many axes there truly are. Infinite. Seven. Oh. Like Jesus. We truly only discovered three. That's the angle of your sight. And it is off.
it's closer. It's still a smidgen bit old tear. Uh, kind of the last couple tears. After a little more tuning, now we're getting there. Hello. It's 10.38. My bedtime's 8.30. Been here for 12, 13 hours. I've been here for too many. Here you go. 263. Yeah. Any guesses? Right. 200. <laughs> I was going to go like 197. Dang, that hit hard. 197! Oh, I'm in there. She's been really good at guessing numbers. Brianna was expressing that her draw length has always felt just a little bit short. The bow is set in the 24 and a half inch setting. I always try and make sure that put a setting in a bow that is actually truly pointing to that setting. So when we remounted these strings, made sure all the lengths were the correct length. Then we put it on a draw board. The bow was actually pulling about an inch shorter than what the setting reflects. So we were pulling about 23 and a half inches. So to get her to a more comfortable setting, the bow is in 25 inches. But when we check it on a draw board, actually measure what the bow is truly pulling to. We're in the 25 inch setting and that measurement is taken from where we knock an arrow on to the front of the riser. Both of our stops are hitting and our bow is pulling 24 and a half perfectly right now. So the sisters have the same exact draw length, 24 and a half. Okay, so we are wrapping up the final portions of this build. We're on day two right now. We just ran out of time last night. We have overall changed my peep to a smaller peep. We have changed out my strings to my new gas bow string. We have added um, a bee stinger stabilizer in the front around three ounces. Is that right? Four, uh, four. Two in the front, four in the back. Two ounces in the front. Four ounces in the back with my beautiful new dampeners. We just went all out with the colors here today. In exact site, we're just gonna run a hunting site and a target site, so I don't have to move any pins. But she can uh, change out her arrows so that she has a faster setup for target shooting targets. Then. That's all of that. We're gonna run one last time with all of the final changes done and including the extra draw length, which really gets me back to my actual 24 and a half inch draw through the chrono here to give you final numbers. I am at 45 pounds in draw weight, uh, 24 and a half inch draw. And this is the target arrow. So it is a three, how much was the grain? How many grains? 230 grain 230 victory grain 3D HV. That, it is that. Thank God <laughs> editing is this. Put your bow there. So that is the target arrow, and this is the hunting arrow. Oh, gosh, yeah. I love that we're getting that same number every single time. 210. How do you feel about that? I feel wonderful. I can now put on, best part I think about this is, um, I can now put on a sight tape that I do not have to do any math on. So do uh, we do have to put a new one on because we just added the extra draw length. Uh, but I do not have to do any math. What the sight tape says is what I will shoot as long as I shoot correctly. Um, and then the last thing I forgot, we changed out my broadhead. So the new type of broadhead uh, allows for, as Jared here says, uh, more efficiency. I'm still learning the science here. There's a lot of science to learn. Yeah, our new broadheads actually, um, because of the lighter poundage, lighter arrow setup, we're trying to make the arrow not to have to work as hard to get through something, uh, but cut on contact. And it's a two blade with bleeder. Um, it's not a super wide cut, but it's super sharp, but we're dealing with super light draw weight, short draw lengths. So anything we can do to remove that arrow having to work to get through a target, that's what we're gonna do. That's so, gonna wrap up this, this video. video. And, and we will see you in the next one where we have some sort of fun competitions and if that video comes out next who knows which one will come out next and hit the like button hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one yeah don't forget to smash that like button